This is Tom, our superintendent, Bellevue Community School District in Bellevue, Iowa, coming to you with this week's uh, final edition for the year 2017 of Believe in the Blue. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning in. Just a few quick things here. Obviously, no school today. School will resume again on January 3rd, once again, January 3rd. Uh, we do have some events happening before that. We obviously have some high school practices going on uh, throughout break, I guess, that way, starting up on the 26th and 27th. I know some youth teams are coming in as well at those times. The offices will be open the 26th through the 30th, uh, yeah, 26th through the 30th, uh, that way, so just kind of are aware of that. We do have a home basketball game, JV, varsity, boys and girls basketball, along with fresh fresh soft boys on Tuesday, January 2nd, even though there's no school today, we do have a conference game that day against Monticello at home, so come out here at 4.30 that day on Thursday, January 4th, we have a bowling meet away at Makokita, and then we also have our home wrestling meet, come out and see Coach Rip and all the wrestlers having a great season, surpassing wind marks uh, for the last several years, or last many years that way, uh, we have a meet against Durant, North Cedar and Northeast, that's at home at, four, excuse me, at 5.30, come out and enjoy that. Uh, it's great that you have kids out there wrestling and doing things. And just come out and enjoy. If you haven't seen a wrestling meet in a while, this is a great meet to go to that way. Then on next Friday, our JV and varsity boys and girls basketball travel to Iowa City Regina. Uh, that way, our uh, actually just our JV girls and our varsity boys and varsity girls travel down there. Our girls already played Regina towards the start of the year and knocked off the number two uh, Regina Regals earlier in the year. So um, we do have a game down there, though, so go on down there. Then Saturday, we have... Uh, that's next Saturday, January 6th. We have a home robotic, a, a robotics meet, excuse me, uh, at Clinton that day. And then we have a wrestling meet at Northeast. So actually, as you're going to or from Clinton, you can stop at Goose Lake at the wrestling meet at Northeast. And that'll be great that way. I uh, want to take just a couple minutes here real quickly just to read a little bit for Most Likely to Succeed. A lot of you have uh, heard about this book before. I've talked about it before. And you've... Uh, had some opportunities to watch the movie out here and discuss it that way, but I uh, just want to take something from a chapter here, the formative years K through 12. In an ideal world, schools would be riveted on preparing our kids for life, helping them learn and develop essential skills and character traits. Assessments would reinforce the goal of helping students master what matters most. College admission processes would have thoughtful criteria aligned with kids' long-term interests, and we peri periodically review historic practices, keep those of, en of enduring merit, drop what's obsolete, and innovate. Uh, we need to have students who are learning what they need to learn, and we need to make sure as a school district, not just in Bellevue, but across the state, across the nation, that we are doing uh, what is best for our students and providing them with learning opportunities that matter to them. Recently, the Iowa School Report Card came out. We kind of talked about that. Our school was commendable at the middle school, high school, except about the elementary. We were reversed last year. I can't tell you what the difference is between the two in all honesty. I'm just being very honest with everyone here. But the thing that I know statewide, scores went down. Our scores did not go down necessarily on the Iowa tests or Iowa assessments. The scores went down. I think we have to be careful when we say every student needs every little thing. We also have to look at how are we engaging students in their learning. It's not strictly learning from a book. It's learning beyond the school walls. It's learning beyond what the teacher knows. It's learning from community members, from online resources, quality online resources, and ultimately applying information and testing it. That is how students learn, and we have to keep that as a focus. If we get too caught up on, on just assessing little standards here and there and here and there and here and there, we lose out on the big picture. Can students apply what they're learning? If students can apply what they're learning, they are going to truly learn and going to carry that with them forever that way. So that's my little uh, speech for today on learning and teaching and learning. And I believe we do a very good job here. There's always room for improvement on having students apply their learning and having students involved in, in the community. We recognize the importance of being involved in, in the community and having students actually hands-on engaged in their learning in all classrooms. We have work to do like everywhere, but we are making strides in that, um, I truly believe, is the case. Um, one final thing here, just uh, as we get into the holiday season now and the New Year's, let's be thankful for everything that we have here as a community. We have a great community. We have outstanding students, outstanding adults in the community. We have a lot going for us, so let's always remember that. Uh, if you have ever any questions, feel free to come out here at any time. We have some community engagement meetings. will be happening again in February and March in, in regard to the Bellevue Elementary Building. Uh, we will be having a board meeting 
on January 8th, actually, coming up here fairly soon. Uh, we'll have a little discussion about the facilities then, but then on February at board meeting, we'll have more large discussion about the facilities too. So uh, anyway, have a great holiday season. If anyone ever needs anything, feel free to give a call. Thank you.